I was concerned from the very beginning that it was a hoax. I used to work, as you referred to earlier, at the Sunday Times, where many years previously the Hitler diaries hoax uh, took place, and, and the, the ghost of that particular situation still roams around the Sunday Times newsroom. So I was I was particularly aware of the possibility of someone trying to stitch me up by providing a, a hoax material. And quite quickly I was able to satisfy myself, although I will concede that worry about a hoax dogged me all the way through until the MPs um, finally confirmed it themselves. So my first concern was, was it being a hoax. Um, I was also aware of, of the fact that this story was, was laced with risk uh, all round, as the best and most important public interest journalism tends to be, whether it was the uh, time that we, we had in order to be able to investigate it, whether it was the reaction of the readers that one couldn't um, be certain of, um, uh, and, or, or, or the people that we were dealing with. It was, it was a story that was laced with risk. So I felt the best way was to engage in in a, an iterative process, a five-step process, if you like, um, in order to to run this this uh, in, uh, investigation and, and to end to conclude finally about publication, which I'm happy to share with you if you if you wish. 